Okay, in this short video, I'll just show you how to create an information box that will display when your dashboard first loads, similar to the one that you can see on the screen here. So when the user clicks the close button in the top right, the information box will disappear and it's not possible to reshow the information box without reloading their dashboard. Okay, so let's recreate this simple example that you can see on the screen here. Just bring out a vertical container and hold down the shift key so it becomes floating. And I need to add a show hide button to the container. So then the key here is to bring that button and put it inside the container. Just before I do that, I'm just going to add a border so it's a bit easier to see. Now I drag the button in and again, I hold down the shift key so that the button can actually be placed inside the container. And you can see it nested there in the item hierarchy. Okay, next thing to do is bring out a text object. We'll drop that into the vertical container as well. And then we go ahead here and add the message. This could be your name or a web address or whatever you want to put at the front of the dashboard when it first loads. And then just resize that message. And you see the button is at the top in the center. And we probably just want to move that over to the right because that's kind of the normal place we see a close button on a dialog box. So to do that, just add some padding, take off the all sides equal and just increase the left padding. We can do that with the mouse wheel. You can scroll the wheel to increase the padding. Use the control key to speed that up as well. And then one final thing we want to do is just center the message a bit more. So again, we can just add some padding at the bottom of that text box there. So now we're going to full screen. We click the close buttons on those boxes. They all disappear, the container and the button itself. And of course, in desktop, we can just undo that by pressing Control Z. However, on server, you wouldn't be able to do that. To get the information boxes back on the server, as I say, you would need to just refresh and reload the dashboard. Okay, so just a quick tip there. I hope it's useful. And thanks for watching.